Hello, doctor. So this is Metcognito once again. I want us to do a quick review of one key enabling objective in the MCCQE1 exam. Now, when it gets to ophthalmology, you know, the eye is not something a lot of us deal with all the time. And because of that, you know, it's tough for many people. So today I want us to break it down, really, really break it down and make it very easy to think through and know how to prepare for the exam. So far, this particular objective is concerned. So today I want us to deal with acute visual disturbance or acute vision loss. So, um, you know, as usual, I'll encourage, I need you to pay particular attention. You know that these highlights are short, they are straight to the point. So please give me all your attention for the next few minutes, just a few minutes and we'll be done. So kindly put off YouTube or your streaming and just super, super, super focus. Let's get this thing done right away. So um, when it comes to vision loss, that particular objective is very critical. And one thing I've always taught um, candidates is to use two key elements to, you know, differentiate it. So two key elements in your history, which will have to guide you in your differentials, because if you get that right, then you can put the other things under it. And what are these two key elements? Number one is a history of pain in the eye, history of pain. And the second one is this particular vision loss we are talking about. Is it unilateral? Is it bilateral? In other words, does it affect just one eye or does it affect both eyes? So in other words, um, I've, I've, I've summarized it here. Is there eye pain or no eye pain? And this eye pain we are talking about, does it affect only one eye or both? If you get this right, that would be a very powerful starting point for you to you know, differentiate, oh, what am I going to do? What are my differentials? Because all these things look very similar. So answering those two questions will help you to clearly ace a question stem on vision loss. And I'm very, very serious about this. So whenever you get a case, somebody has vision loss, okay, ask yourself, is there pain? Or there's no pain? Is it on one eye? or on both eyes. Now, this will also guide your management because you will realize that that objective is looking out for various things. But if you don't get that those two questions right, you may go, go off the, the, the grade. It's also going to guide, are you going to address this urgently? Are you going to refer to a specialist right away? Or you can give the patient some medications and let the patient go home, you know, and then even follow up with their family doctor. Which one will you do? So let's get into it. So as I said, is there pain? Is there no pain? Is it unilateral? Is it bilateral? So let's get into differentials of painful vision loss. And you realize that I've done something here. We are dealing with differentials of painful vision loss. And then next level, I'm dealing with the differentials, whether it is unilateral painful or, bi or bilateral painful, because we've already made that point. Okay, so let's deal with unilateral painful vision loss. Causes of unilateral painful vision loss. Corneal abrasion, get this, acute angle closure glaucoma, okay? Hyphema, end of thalmitis, anterior uveitis, and optic neuritis. And bilateral painful vision loss, the key differential there is keratitis from bilateral exposure, okay? So painful vision loss. I know that keratitis, corneal abrasion, acute angle closure, but which of them is unilateral? Which of them is bilateral? That is what we've, so this slide answers those two questions. Painful vision loss, I know my differentials, but Keratitis is bilateral. The rest are all unilateral. Now, let's go to the next one. Painless vision loss. Painless vision loss. So in this one as well, I've used the slide to, you know, differentiate. Is it unilateral? Is it bilateral? Okay. So if somebody has painless vision loss and it is unilateral, you're looking at differentials like lens dislocation, vitreous hemorrhage, acute maculopathy, 
Now look at certain things happening here. And this is something you can remember. In fact, if you forget all your pain, painful, painless vision loss, think about these. What is happening to the retina? What is happening to the retina? What is happening to the retina? So we have retinal detachment. It can detach. Central retinal artery occlusion. Central retinal vein occlusion. And ischemic optic neuropathy. So even if you forget about, you know, all the differentials of painless vision loss, and you're thinking about unilateral painless vision loss, think about the retina, the retina, the retina. That can help. Now, when it comes to bilateral painless vision loss, think about tumor, pseudotumor cerebri, which is very uncommon. You know, metabolic causes like hyperglycemia and methanol toxicity, that is common. You know, homonymous visual field loss, like, you know, issues affecting the optic cars. So I've used these two slides to tell us the differences between painless and painful and whether it is unilateral or bilateral. Now, I want you to take your learning to the next level. Learning that particular objective, I want you to take it to the next level. And what do I mean? After you've been able to tell painless, painful, unilateral, bilateral. Now, in reality, that objective is expecting you to do something. So what I need you to do is when you are learning, when you get to that page, you have this video um, with you. So when you get to that page, where I've talked about painful and painless, I need you to pause it, write all those differentials down and ask yourself, if somebody presents with acute keratitis, for example, or keratitis, for example, what's, what is the kind of history the person will present? When I examine that person's eye, what will I see? That diagnosis, is it vision threatening or not vision threatening? That particular diagnosis, will I need to request some labs or I don't have to request some labs? Will I need to request some examination or I don't need to request any examination? Will I need to refer to a specialist or not? And if I have to refer, Will I need to refer right now? Will I need to maybe say I can refer and the patient can see the specialist tomorrow or I can let the patient even go home? These are the things. And you need to put in an acute intervention. So for example, take acute angle closure glaucoma. How will the patient present? Sudden vision loss. Will you want to request any labs? No. But will you want to do an investigation? One key investigation is what? Doing a tonometry of the eye using a tonal pen. Will I refer now in 24 hours or I'll let the patient go? I'll refer right now, okay? And do I need to put in some acute intervention? Of course, I'll need to put in medications like Timolol, you know, um, 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 even um, um, medications like Manitol and all those things have to be given. So after you've gone through all these differentials, what I need you to do is write them down go to the textbook you are using to study and answer these questions I have put here. If you answer these questions for each of the differentials, you have covered vision loss in detail. So, you know, chill out. All the best in the exam, as I always say. Good luck on your exam. Keep a positive mind. Only positive vibes, you know, and keep a positive life. And I'll be coming your way with more videos to review these very important topics. All the best in the exam.